Hi and welcome to the Battle for Azeroth Retribution Paladin Rotation Guide. Now this is in beta, which means that some things could change, although it's very, very unlikely. However, at the start of the expansion, I always bring out my Essentials Guide anyway, which will cover all aspects of playing Retribution Paladin in PvE at least. So you want to check that out if it's gone live. But in the meantime, this will show you what you need to do. This has got the action priority list produced by Sol Sakura, who's our most senior theory crafter. So when it comes to our general APL, I've got it up here. Uh, if we're on five holy power, of course, we're going to want a finisher. We're not going to want to use anything that generates holy power if it will mean overcapping. So if we just quickly go through the generators, we don't want to use either Crusader Strike, Hammer of Wrath, or Judgment or Consecration indeed if we take that. If we've got five holy power because we'll overcap. With Blade of Justice, we only want to use that if we're on three or fewer because even on four we will have some wastage. And when it comes to Wake of Ashes, we really don't want to have much. If we have one holy power, okay, you can't always get to a situation where you've got none at all. You'll be wasting the use of it there. But more than about one holy power, you don't really want to be using Wake of Ashes except in an emergency or for some niche situation there. So for our five holy power, we're going to use a finisher. After that, if a Hammer of Wrath is available, that means we've taken the talent and we're either under Avenging Wrath or, or you know, Execute Rage. Basically, if Hammer of Wrath is available, we would want to use it. After that, Blade of Justice, again, if it's available... After that, Wake of Ashes, as long as, as I say, we're on fewer than two Holy Power, ideally. Then Judgment, if we've taken it, Consecration would be next. Then Crusader Strike, if there's two charges available. So we've always sort of got one rolling there. Then, if we're able to, use in a Finisher. And then lowest priority really is Crusader Strike, if it's its final charge. If we've only got one charge of Crusader Strike, use that if there's nothing else to use it on. It's sort of a bit of a filler there. Although, of course, it does generate a Holy Power. So, although it doesn't do much damage, that Holy Power is worth a bit. Now, in terms of priorities of certain talents and abilities, if you've taken both Inquisition and Execution Sentence then you want to favour Inquisition over Execution Sentence. Basically, if Inquisition is not on us, or if it's about to go off in seconds, then we should really be refreshing it. But only refresh it if you've got at least two Holy Power to do so with. When it comes to using Divine Storm or Templar's Verdict, do bear in mind that Divine Storm is not generally a DPS increase on two targets, unless we have taken the Divine Judgment talent, in which case, yes, use Divine Storm on two targets. Other than that, use it only on at least three. So what that means is if you get yourself into a situation where you've got three mobs or more up, use Divine Storm. As soon as it drops down to there's only two mobs left, don't go into tunnel mode here. Switch to using Templar's Verdict on your main target. Don't consider Justicar's Vengeance to be a DPS ability at all. You'll notice it's not on the list there. Although it can do more damage if, let's say, we've got a stunned mob and it's a Divine Purpose proc, that's such an ultra niche situation, we're not even going to consider it there. Certainly for raids, we're not going to consider it a DPS ability at all. It's there as an expensive heal. Think only in terms of the fact it's an expensive self-heal, for which you may still want to take it, but it's not going to be considered in our DPS rotation. Now, it's worth mentioning at this point uh, about our rotation being slowed down. Blizzard have deliberately increased the amount of downtime in everyone's rotation. And Retribution Paladin's no exception there. So there's a significant amount of extra downtime. The whole rotation feels a bit better with more haste. But I just want to point out here a little misconception people have in that more haste reduces our downtime. It won't really. It will just make their rotation feel nicer. The reason it doesn't really get rid of the downtime is because although our abilities will come off cooldown more quickly and will be available more quickly, our global cooldown is also being reduced by haste. So the rate at which we can fire these off abilities off and be on to the next one is also reduced in the same proportion. So for a lot of talent builds, it will also be exactly the same amount of percentage downtime, but the amount of actual downtime will be a bit less and therefore will feel a bit better. There are a couple of little things to bear in mind in that abilities such as Execution Sentence are going to benefit more from having that haste, of course, because the window is fixed, the cooldown is fixed. So in things like that, it can still feel a bit better there. So we're still going to be wanting haste and lots of it. 
So let's look at a few specific examples here. I've chosen a talent set that matches as close as possible to what we would have in Legion. So we've got none of the new abilities there. And so if I look at the opener there, I would say that I would want to start off with my Wake of Ashes. I'm going to go straight into Crusade there. I'm going to be spending. And then just from there, usual thing for building up the Crusade stacks. And it's not dissimilar to what we would have in Legion. So let's say we change it up about, let's say we get Inquisition, because that's looking very good in Battle for Azeroth, and let's just get rid of this as well. We get Consecration in there. So the opener in this particular case, again, without being Blood Elf, because of course they have Arcane Torrent, is I'm first of all going to need to generate some Holy Power. I'm going to use Inquisition, and then it will be a case of generating a little bit more before I go into Avenging Wrath. And then start that. Now that seems like a bit more of a, a pain compared to previous ones where you generate some holy power and quickly get into it. Particularly if we're pre-potting at the start of a boss fight as we should. However, I uh, need to consider it this way. If you're just using Avenging Wrath, that has a shorter duration than it does in Legion. So you can still act fairly quickly and get the full use of your pre-pot if you're cunning. And uh, it'll all work out fine. So let's crank it up a bit with Hammer of Wrath, which, as you'll be able to see here, is an extremely high priority generator. So we're just going to start off again, get our Inquisition rolling. So Hammer of Wrath as a high priority there. And again, so we're using that when we can, when it's available. Much like that. Ah, uh, ran out. Aww. So let's say we want to kick it up even more now. We're going to go with Execution Sentence. Now, Execution Sentence will also be a very high priority finisher, but it will still be secondary to Inquisition. So at the moment, of course, I have no Inquisition, so I'm going to be using that. But then what I will aim to do is use that now that it is available because it is our next most important finisher. Now it only lasts so long so we want to maximize as much as possible while that window is available. How much we can maximize it depends upon a number of things including of course our haste because the window is fixed Execution Center's cooldown is not affected by haste, and the window is not affected by haste either. With Inquisition, having at least two Holy Powers such as there is what you'd want. Don't really bother refreshing it on one. Try and have at least two. So that's the Retribution Paladin BFA Guide for Rotation. If you've got any questions, ask them below. Don't forget that I also stream regularly and produce weekly Retribution Paladin content, which you can check out on my channel there. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for further content. And until next time, I'll see you later.